All right, all right. It's been a minute. It's been a while. It's your boy, Chris, coming at you with another poker chip video. Going to try to knock out one video a month this year. <laughs> it's very ambitious, but that will be my effort. Uh, in the future, mixed game tutorials coming up, but this is an old-fashioned poker chip video, and what you see in front of you are poker chips. These are 100% ceramic poker chips, I believe. And I got them through a group buy on PokerChipForum.com. PokerChipForum.com. Go there right now. Check it out. It's a bunch of discussion boards about poker chips. And there's a classified section. And if you become part of the community and post a lot and say positive things and be a positive member, eventually uh, you can get around to buying poker chips in the classifieds and then also in the group buy section which is what I've done over the years, and I purchased these bad boys a while ago, uh, probably over six months ago, and these chips may look familiar. They are in the style. They are a tribute to the Aria Poker Room. They're high stakes cash games. If you've ever watched Super High Roller Bowl or anything on Poker Go with high stakes, a lot of the time, these are the chips you will see. Of course, the world famous $5,000 flag and the 25k cranberry and even big gray there. Uh, these are tributes. Yeah, that's it. That's the ticket. Uh, there are no copyright laws in China, so they have no problem making these. The website is actually alibaba.com and there's a bunch of vendors on there and the vendor who created these, uh, produced these, is Tina. But like I said, I didn't mess with Alibaba.com at all. I just went right through PokerChipForum.com and got me a gang of chips. And these are the chips that I am planning to use in a tournament coming up soon. So let's go through them one by one, shall we? In close-up, like we normally do. And I'll talk a bit more about the chips. So this is the 25, you know, uh, based loosely on the $25 chip. Uh, that the Aria has, and you'll notice it's, it is all ceramic, but you'll notice there's a, kind of an imprinting here. This is um, punched into the ceramic is what they call a cards mold, and it's kind of a faux mold, but it's really there. I mean, it's really actually deep. You can actually dig into it. There's also a circle that you can actually feel here that surrounds the inlay. So it's a pretty nice, I mean, high quality chip. For 35 cents a chip, it's pretty tough to beat. Now, don't quote me on those prices. They may have gone up already. I see new group buys popping up all the time. And uh, now they're talking upwards of 50 cents a chip, potentially, depending on the shipping. Uh, these were all put on a boat. And so, you know, it took several months <laughs> for the chips to get to us. But that's how we were able to save on chipping. Let's go to the next chip. This is the Hundo. I mean, you should look pretty closely at the quality, because like I said, 35 cents a chip or so is pretty cheap, but you'll notice um, the printing. You can kind of see through it a little bit. It's not super duper high quality, but the, the chip itself, I mean, the ceramic, the edges are sharp. They have a really nice feel. We'll do some shuffling later. But keep that in mind. You know, you, you get what you pay for, no matter what it is, no matter where it is. And, um, you know, I'm satisfied. I mean, these chips are cool, as far as I'm concerned. Let's go to the next one, which is the 500 chip. And you can see really nice and up close uh, the quality that you're dealing with, uh, the image. You can see through the red a little bit. That's okay. Uh, the colors on all of these chips are just gorgeous. Absolutely tremendous colors. Um, that's really kind of the killer app here for the these bad boys here. Here's the 1K, the bumblebee with a splash of red. You can see through the red where the mold part is there. Not the best, but not the worst. It doesn't really bother me too much. Again, I, you know, I take price to heart. This is, these are really cheap chips. And now we're gonna go to the 5K. And this is probably the most iconic Aria chip. They call it the flag. And take a good look at the print quality, you know, at the alignment. I haven't talked about the alignment yet. The alignment is generally excellent. Uh, you don't see any offset, you know, from what's on the front of the chip to what's on the side of the chip. And that's something that even the best high-end vendors in the United States uh, struggle with sometimes and charge extra for, actually. They don't charge for that over in China. 
So that's nice. You know, as far as you know, China not caring about copyrights and that sort of thing, I, yeah, I guess it would bother me, I guess, if I really thought about it for too long, but a chance to get these um, iconic Aria chips in my home game was just too, too good to pass up. And here is the Cranberry. This is the famous 25k cash chip that you do see on those high roller games, high stakes poker, etc, etc. Here, changed to a no cash value tournament chip. And very pretty, very bright, very vibrant. Uh, the colors do not disappoint. And finally, Big Gray. Uh, these are all 39 millimeter. Now the 5K, the 25K, and the 100K at Aria, I believe, are 43 millimeter. These are all 39 millimeter. Uh, there's a group buy that just popped up recently on Poker Chip Forum. It might be closed already, but they are gonna try for some 43 millimeters. Big gray, uh, somewhere I can dig up a picture of a rack of one of these things. It's the real thing. It's just insane to have a $100,000 chip. So anyway, that's the tournament chips. They are beautiful. They are cheap. Also, while I was there, because the chips were so cheap, I went and got a cash set. And that's what this. Boom, baby. It's the cash chips. Ba -ba -ba <laughs> uh, you'll see from left to right, we've got a nickel, a quarter, a dollar, a five dollar, a twenty dollar, and a hundred dollar. The hundred dollar is identical to the tournament chip, which is a little weird. If you're actually using hundred dollar chips in your cash game, I recommend you not use this one because they match the tournament chips or just make sure that there are no tournament chips around. Anyway, see the only difference is there's no dollar sign. Let's look at the cash chips one at a time. Now, this chip does not actually exist in the Aria Casino because they don't have nickel chips. I certainly don't use nickel chips in my home game, but I know a lot of the micro stakes uh, players out there do employ nickels. This one, I believe, is based on their $10 chip at the Aria. And again, get a good look at the uh, quality there. It's pretty darn high for 35 cents a chip. You can't beat it. And even if it goes up to 50 cents a chip for faster shipping, uh, still well worth it, I would say. This uh, quarter, this frack, is based on the $3 chip at the actual Aria. And as you can see, it's a lovely frack. It plays very well with the rest of the set as a frack. So you're not going to get any dirty stack issues. You're not going to get any problems like that. Then you got probably my favorite Aria chip ever is their dollar chip. I have a fond spot for the blue chips. You know, the Aurora Star Blues are based loosely on this guy, I would imagine. Just lovely. And it's the workhorse chip in my cash game because we play a lot of fixed limit. All right, and next we got the Red Bird, the $5 chip. This is the workhorse of most cash games, low stakes cash games in casinos. They play 1 3 at Aria, and I've played in that game, and it plays a bit bigger than that, but it's a lot of fun. I like the red, it's very vibrant, it pops. And next we got the boom, the $20 chip. You can do it, autofocus, I know you can, I believe in you. This is for $20 increments, I like a lot for the cash game at home as opposed to a 25. The 25 tournament chip is actually um, the $25 cash game chip at Aria. But if you buy this set, one for cash and one for tourney, use this one for tourney and this one for cash. And you will never be confused. Also, you know, most home game players buy in $20 at a time. So the 20 is always a useful chip to have. And finally, I don't know if I should bother with this, but might as well, the $100 cash chip, $100. Ivory um, arrows there, not white. The ivory is accurate to Aria. If you're in this group, in the next group buy or do manage to track down Tina, they also have an option of white triangles. I don't know. I kind of like the original ivory because in the original cash game set, you know, the 5k flag is loaded with white. So I like that there's less white on the, on the, um, the ivory version. Anyway, they give you those options. All right, let's move on to putting these bad boys in a stack, doing some shuffling, and then I will give you my overall thoughts. So in case you are wondering, yes, they do look absolutely beautiful in stacks. These are just gorgeous to look at. Uh, this is the tournament set. The 25s, the hundo, 
500, 1K, 5K. And let's take a listen, shall we? That is an un oops, that is an unmistakable classic ceramic sound. And of course they shuffle like a dream, like most ceramic chips do. I'm not an expert shuffler by any means, but I do know how to do it. They're not that slippery at all. Um, in terms of spinners, you'll notice right away that there's quite a few spinners. <laughs> they do spin way more than ceramic chips that you're going to buy in the States. Oh, that one's not too bad at all. Let's see. The quality control is not the highest. Oh, that's amazing. Those two stacks don't really spin, but this one certainly does. Whee! I say spinners, it's just, you know, a bit of slipperiness there. Oh, it's not too bad. Not too bad on that. Let's try this one. Well, well there you go. But you know, I've seen, I've seen reports everywhere on these chips and people, you know, for the price, they really can't be beat. They're great. They're great value. Um, the hassle of getting them is that you have to wait a while, especially if they go on the boat, and it's really tough to interact with the vendor directly. But uh, overall, you know, as far as I'm concerned, Poker Chip Forum once again for the win. And it's just you want to stay positive about these sort of things and these chipping opportunities that come along. That's that. I enjoy uh, making these Poker Chip videos. Haven't done one in a long time, and I appreciate you watching. Make sure to click like and subscribe if you haven't. Uh, it won't be a ton of output this year, but I am shooting for one video a month. I think that's fair. And uh, like I said, next time hopefully it'll be a game tutorial. I want to go through the mixed games one at a time and uh, just do basic tutorials on how to play them. So that should be fun. Until next time, this is Chris saying peace, we out.